Guys, how cool is this new concept? Look how great you look, Dee. Okay, so this is a new bike sharing service that allows you to pick up and lock up your bike anywhere you would park your own bike. So there are no docks, there's none of that. It's called Drop Bike, and here to talk to us about this is Kimming Wang. You're the CEO. You're really young, by the way, to be a CEO. Congrats. Thank you. Thank how you so much. How did you start this, and what is this? Well, I was traveling uh, around the world for a little while, and I saw a lot of different bike share concepts, and, and one of them was a little bit like this. And, and, and I really thought that back at home, this would be really useful because there's, there's an existing bike share system, but I think this can really complement it, um, be in areas where there, there aren't enough docks um, and there aren't enough bikes. Because that's the problem. Right now with the ones available, which are great, they're few and far between, and when they're all taken up, it's like then when you need to return the bike, sometimes they're all full. So this doesn't, look at this, guys, it actually won't move. It's it on lock move. right now. So, so I'm trying to go forward and back. It won't move. Yeah, so how so does let's it work? Show how this works. So at the end of the day, it comes on the app, and I've already yes. loaded this app onto our phone here. Mm -hmm. and, and and so walk us through the process. You guys at home can see our screen here. So you hit unlock. Okay. And it brings up a QR code scanner. You so scan the, that so QR code. You go over here. here on the bike. So it's already scanned it, and it says the ride is free because we're demoing this. <laughs> yes, so when you hit start, it'll tell you the combination for this. Bike. So it's a dollar an hour, so yeah. it's one of the cheapest rates well, you'll get cheap. here. And once you click unlock... So we're just going to, if you help, hop off real quickly, we're okay. going to put in that code. We're going to click that silver button, and it unlocks. And now the bike is yours to ride. Right, so you click got it, yeah. and then now the timer starts, and it knows where your bike is from a GPS perspective. Exactly. It knows where you start. Yeah. Dina goes out and I rides just it. <laughs> just need to get there myself she goes. started here. What could go wrong? So, so let me ask you about this. Yeah. What is this. What are some of the benefits of this bike? You were talking about the tires. It's really unique. Yeah, so one of the, I learned a lot about bicycles in the last little while. And these tires are actually made from foam, which means they never go flat. So the tires never go flat? Yeah. And wow. another thing is that there's no crossbar on these bikes, right. which makes it uh, easier for women in the summer to, to ride them around. And then uh, you were also saying uh, from an anti-theft perspective, there are some security features on here yeah. as well. So all the screws and all the parts on this bike are non-standard. So you, if you were to take a part, you would actually find it kind of useless. And then, of course, from a safety perspective, at night, we've got all the lights that you need exactly. on here. So you have the front lights and the back lights over there. And they are actually uh, motion censored, and they have a solar panel, and there's an accelerometer in there, so they only light up at night when you're moving. That's so smart. Now, okay, so Miss Pulias is done her are bike ride. This is amazing. <laughs> it's, it's time to lock it back up. What do okay. I do? Dina's, okay. Dina's gotten I'm, back to I'm the station here. So normally you would find a bike post or a bike rack. Right now we're piloting on the U of T campus, so on the campus, and you would lock it back up. You would scramble the combination, okay. and then you, when you hit end. We're just going to ask you to take and a quick you to take picture. A picture. So, so smile, Dina. I return my bike. <laughs> okay, so now it knows where you've left your bike. It knows the GPS coordinates, Jeez. uploads it, and ready for the next person exactly. to use. Exactly. So now you see Locked there's a few in. bikes here for the next. And then you can see on the map exactly where all the bikes are in the area, and the next yes. one's ready. Amazing. Devil's advocate. Can I say this? What stops somebody from grabbing this locked bike and taking it home? Because <laughs> it's well, locked to a pole, Dina. Oh, it's locked to a pole. It's not actually locked to a pole. It's, it's not locked to a locked post to at all? Yeah. So, so you can what, actually park this it, on the street. You can, <laughs> well, that's why we're asking users to take a picture. And that's why we have oh, all these GPS wow. features. Wow. Accountability. Exactly. Accountability, Smart. accountability you, Dina. Good job. You thought of everything. So on Twitter, you are? Uh, Kimming, Q-I-M-I-N-G, but you should follow us at Get Drop Bike. At, at Get, Get Drop Bike. Drop bike. Yes. And the website is dropbike.ca, so you can read uh, all about that there. It's a green solution, and we love it. Our city needs it to get around. Thank you so much. We'll be back with more BT right after this. You want to take it for a spin, Wings? Yeah.